12 days of Christmas, number four. Today I finally got to go thrifting for some Christmas decorations, and although I thought I was done decorating for Christmas, I wasn't. So if you guys want to come along with me while I go thrifting for Christmas decor, let's get to it, and then I'll show you the haul I got. I am headed to some thrift stores, yay! I also have to return some books to the library and get some ones I wanted. time by myself. Adam's watching the boys. A little quiet time. So I'm trying to get to my favorite little thrift store. They close at 12.30, so at least that's what Google says. They weren't lying to me. If I can make it in time because they always have the best fabric and everything that I can find for super cheap, so I'm heading there first. Now I'm not going to make it. Please be open, please be open, yay! problem now is getting it in the car. Fit easier than I thought it was going to. I ended up picking up. This I actually found in the toy section. Like someone hid it, I think. They were trying to keep it so they could come back for it. But sorry, whoever you were, because I couldn't pass it up. I've seen these at Walmart a lot, and they're usually, I mean, they're not crazy expensive, but more expensive than what I paid. This was brand new in the package, and it's a milk for Santa bottle with the little rubber lid you can take off. And these are actually ceramic. And this one, oh, dirty. It has a little plate that says, Dear Santa, enjoy the milk and cookies. And it's actually chalkboard right here. So I guess the boys could put their names here. It's a cute little set, and I only paid $3.50 for it. Versus, like, I've seen these at Walmart for, I think, $10. Could be wrong. Don't quote me on this. But $3.50 for ceramic. I'll take it. Brand new. The second thing I got was this cute little tin plate. It's got the toy soldiers on it. And I just thought it was really cute. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. But we shall see. I'll find a spot for it. Then I found... I went looking through all the fabric and I found a lot I wanted, but... I had a budget. I didn't want to spend over $20, so I put a lot of things back. But... I got this fabric that's actually pretty thick. And it's red and green. And it's kind of like a tweed fabric. I'm going to make, I think I'm going to make some new pillows for my couch for Christmas. So we'll see how that goes. And that was only $2.50. These I love just because I like to add something new to my tree every year. And these were sitting all lonely in a bag by themselves. There's five of them. 
little candy canes. They're like cheap plastic. Vintage cheap plastic. The best kind. I really love these and they were only 85 cents so I grabbed those at Contano. The next thing I grabbed was also hiding in the toy section even though it said home decor on the label. I think someone just put it in the wrong basket but it's a whole little set of these wooden houses and they all have a letter they say welcome across them and they have little windows somebody made these and I thought they were so cute because I figured for Christmas I can just turn them around to the window side put some lights all around them make like a little Christmas village or I could easily repaint them if I wanted to say something else or it's a whole little set of these and I got these for two dollars and they're really cute all together and the last thing I picked up was the awesome table I found and it fits right next to my couch just like I thought it would. The legs are a little wobbly and we might replace the legs soon. I might spray paint it. I might, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I love it. It's like an old card catalog that someone put legs on and it's the cutest little end table and we've needed one three years in this house almost and we don't have an end table by our couch. So no one to set your book or your drink or the remote. Now we have one and it fit just in the space between our couch and the wall. all I got. Quite a few things for Christmas. A few of them might turn into DIYs. We'll see. I think it was a pretty good haul for, for about $15. I could not pass up that table for just $4. So if it's a little wobbly, that's fine. We'll fix it. Thank you guys for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed down below so you don't miss the rest of my 12 days of Christmas.